one, go. Good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. And thank you so much for taking time out of your busy Saturday, beautiful weather around the country, and you chose to spend a little bit of time with us here on the Health Exchange. My name is Troy Richardson, and today we have some amazing, amazing guests featuring Dr. Victor Payton and his lovely, phenomenal wife, Coach Gwen Payton. But we're going to get this thing started in a few with a few introductions. Um, we're going to just first let me just tell you a little bit about the Health Exchange. This is a series that we do monthly, and we feature health professionals, and they exchange their ideas on how they feel that they can be a part of this mission that we inspire healthy living globally. And we have some amazing, amazing health professionals coming up. But today, again, as I said, we have Dr. Victor Payton and we have Coach Gwen Payton that um, not only they're gonna share their ideas, but we're gonna learn maybe a couple of things that you didn't know about them. So just buckle your seatbelt. We're gonna have a tremendous and fun ride and we're gonna get started now. We're going to introduce uh, Coach Gwen Payton and we have another health professional nurse of uh, about 30 years, Miss Naja. Yasin is going to introduce Coach Gwen Payton. Naja, can you unmute, please? Thank you. Gwendolyn Payton. Gwendolyn became an entrepreneur over 30 years ago as a co-owner and manager in her husband's solo pediatric medical practice in Athens, Georgia. Gwen, be, Gwen received a Bachelor of Science degree in biology from Mercer University, where as a student, she was active in the civil rights movement. She also received a Bachelor of Science in medical technology from the Medical College of Georgia. After retiring from the pediatric office, she pursued a career as a professional portrait artist, but found that she missed educating others on preventative health and wellness. She then earned her certification as a health educator and is an advocate for better health, especially for kids. June of this year, Gwen and Victor celebrated 49 years of marriage. Congratulations, guys. They have four beautiful adult children and seven gorgeous grandchildren. Gwen enjoys spiritual meditation and Bible study, portrait painting, playing pickleball, biking, and vacationing with family. Let's welcome Gwendolyn Payton. Awesome. Thank you, Naja. And now to introduce Dr. Victor Payton, we have two of America's favorite kids. Um, young man and, and young woman, let me say that, uh, Mr. Zion Gardner and Miss Jordan Gardner. Dr. Victor Payton is a proud husband to the radiant Gwen Payton and an incredible father. Dr. Payton is a board certified pediatrician with over 40 years of nurturing young lives. He enjoys tennis and bike riding while residing in the Athens, Georgia area. Please, Please join, join me in welcoming Dr. Victor. Victor. Okay, got caught off a little bit, that's okay. Okay, next guys, before we get started with the speakers, we're gonna show a short video just to introduce um, what we are all so inspired about sharing. So Henry Lee, if you could please get that jumpstart video started. Thank you, sir. In case you guys didn't know Henry Lee, that's my brother over there in Ohio. To our health, diet is at the center of everything. And fruits and vegetables need to be at the center of our diets. I'm here today to tell you more about Juice Plus, whole food-based fruit and vegetable capsules that have given thousands of people a jump start to better diets and better health. We all know we need to eat lots of fruits and vegetables, half our plate at every meal, and we need to eat a wide variety too. But for most of us, even on our very best days, it's hard to do that. And that's where Juice Plus comes in. 
Juice Plus is whole food nutrition from 20 fruits and vegetables, 30 if you count the berry blend, that bridges the gap between what we should eat and what we actually do eat every day. I say whole food because it is food, concentrated to deliver a powerful nutritional punch in a few small capsules. We harvest the produce at just the right time to ensure the nutrition is at its peak. Freeze the produce to lock in that nutrition and then, well, sort of pulverize everything, peels and all, into a pulp to unlock that nutrition and concentrate it. The peel is really important because, let's take an orange, for example. There's more vitamin C, gram for gram, in the peel than in the fruit itself. And if you're like me, you don't usually eat the peel. We dry that pulverized pulp, peels and all, at carefully controlled temperatures to protect the nutrients from damage. Then, blend it into Juice Plus fruit, vegetable, and berry powders, delivered to you in plant-based capsules or chewables. And we do all of this at state-of-the-art freezing, drying, blending, and manufacturing facilities. Juice Plus checks all the boxes. It's 100% plant-based and 100% vegan, even the capsules themselves. It's made entirely from non-GMO ingredients, it's gluten-free, and it's third-party NSF certified, independently confirming that what's on the label is really in the product. Juice Plus is supported by over 20 years of independent clinical research conducted at prestigious hospitals and universities around the world, showing the benefits of Juice Plus on heart health, lung health, obesity, the immune system, even our DNA. There have been more than 35 studies and counting on Juice Plus published in leading medical and scientific journals, making it easily the most researched branded nutritional product ever. And get this, if you're a parent or a grandparent or even an aunt or uncle, you can get Juice Plus free for a child by enrolling in our special program for families. This is our way to get Juice Plus into the hands of more families and encourage healthier eating habits for the next generation. Juice Plus also offers other whole food based products that help you jumpstart and maintain a healthier lifestyle. Juice Plus Complete Shake Mixes make it easy to replace unhealthy calories with a healthy shake or a smoothie. Mix with other healthful ingredients to start your day, or enjoy at lunch, or as an afternoon pick-me-up. Complete is rich in plant-based sources of protein and fiber and contains an entire range of whole food-based ingredients different from those in Juice Plus capsules or chewables. And Juice Plus Complete Bars are another tasty way to replace unhealthy calories with healthier ones. Juice Plus Omega Blend offers a unique whole food blend of five different omega fatty acids, three, five, six, seven, and nine. What also makes Juice Plus Omega Blend so unique is it's a 100% plant-based omega product. We bypass the middle fish and go straight to the fish's source, the algae. And last but not least, there's Tower Garden by Juice Plus a vertical aeroponic home growing system that lets you grow your own fresh fruits and vegetables year round, indoors or out. We're proud that our Juice Plus products have been that one simple change that's helped jumpstart thousands of people to better diets and better health. We bet they can do the same for you. Okay, thank you so much, Henry. All right, so guys, what we're gonna do now is just get to know the Paytons a little bit, and we're just gonna ask them a few questions that both of them are gonna give their short answers before we get into their presentation. So guys, this is for both of you. Where did you grow up, and what did nutrition look like in your household? I'll go first. Uh, I grew up in Macon, Georgia, little Georgia. Um, I have eight siblings growing up. We lived in a four room house. That was four rooms, not four bedrooms, four rooms until I was about 13 years old. And then we moved into a five room house where we had uh, a separate, my mom and dad finally had a separate bedroom. 
uh, and um, from the from the family room. Uh, and at the time that we were growing up, you know, um, eating, we, we ate what was grown in our grandparents' gardens and what was grown out in the fields. Uh, we had pomegranate trees and uh, fig trees there. And, um, you know, we didn't have a lot of treats growing up. We had ba very basic foods growing up, but my mom loved cooking and she cooked a lot of, I think my favorite growing up was her um, turkey dressing, which I only got once a year. <laughs> but uh, she liked to fix banana pudding and ma macaroni and cheese and those types of uh, heavy carb uh, foods when we were growing up. Awesome, thank you so much. Dr. Victor? Well, I grew up in Savannah, Georgia. Um, our uh, household was fairly straightforward when it came to eating. It's just what's to eat. Don't eat it, Uncle Nelly. And you know, that was about the basic it. Was nothing, nothing, nothing special. Here's what it is, and that's what it is, and that's what it is. Awesome, awesome. And besides nutrition, which you are both very passionate about. Give me one other thing that you uh, would say is, is one of your, your favorite passions. Well, mine is um, having activities with our children and our, and, our, uh, and our grandkids. And since COVID has started, I started having monthly virtual cousins camp where um, I'll have camp. the cousins are from uh, California. There's in California, two in Ohio, and one in Sweden. And in order for all of us to get together, the one in Sweden, to, for her to be on because she's actually eight hours ahead of the ones in California, we she has to the ones in California have to be up at nine a.m. And those kids are very willing to get up in order to see their cousin that's in Sweden, who's the youngest of them all right now. So that's what's fun for us during, during the pandemic is having our virtual cousins camp every month. That is awesome. And Dr. Victor? Well, exercise is probably one of my favorites next to, as well as reading and studying, you know, because the tennis, and, Pickleball, <clears throat> when I could in the past, I was swimming quite a bit, and that still is one of my enjoyable things that I hopefully I'll be getting back into someday as soon as I can get clear, you know, from doctors, but sometimes doctors can be hard to deal with. <laughs> you know, somehow I, I do believe that, Dr. Victor. Not, um, me. Not me, not me. Not you, okay. Uh, Coach Gwen will talk about that later, though. Out of the um, amazing products that we we share with everyone we come into contact with, what is, which one is your favorite product and why? I have to say that the veggies are my favorite because just in the last few months, I started chewing them, chewing the capsules, and I love the taste of it. And so they're my favorite. Wow. Okay. I've completed mine because I like the, it's a good supplement, you know, morning and after exercise. So um, I have to say that, you know, I've, I've been taking the juice plus capsule for years and it's just a routine for me now. But as far as a favorite, would be the juice plus complete. Okay. And, and, and you guys can, again, both address this one, but Coach Gwen, I want you to, you, you're talking to the women and, and Dr. Victor, you're gonna be talking to the men. Why should they make these products a priority in their lives and the lives of their families? Well, I think that um, a, a, a quick bit of my story, when I started with Juice Plus almost 20 years ago, I was approaching 50, and I had been, always been very active, but what was happening, I was going through that change and different things were happening with my body. And I started to pay attention to what 
my family history looks like. Uh, and as I told you, I have eight siblings. At that point, I had two siblings that were dealing with heart trouble. My, my father passed away very early on uh, at 56 with heart trouble. I have four siblings that were dealing with diabetes. Uh, my mother had had three bouts of cancer. So I was very concerned about that. And I think that all women, all moms, whether you're moms or not, uh, you should be concerned about your family history and how it has impact or can impact you if you do not make any changes. I made changes early on because I was one of the ones that loved exercising. But as my husband can tell you, you can eat your way out of any exercise program. You eat the wrong things and it will, it will show up on your body. Uh, so I would encourage all women and especially moms because they have a legacy that they can pass on to their children of how they can have a look better, feel better, age better uh, with what they're putting in their body, what they're fueling their body with. Uh, so that's, that's the way, that's, what, that's why I would suggest that women um, share that. And take eat juice plus and share it with everyone they know. Awesome, thank, thank you. And Dr. Victor, what do you have to say to the men out there? Yes, ma'am. The uh, during my physicals, uh, I do a lot of preaching on the side and sneaking in things. And of course, men I think are the hardest to make them realize this, but. You know, always say the guy with the heart attack was fine five minutes ago. And you try to mention and preach this to the fathers doing my exams on the kids. And my favorite saying is, well, when they say it's not bothering me, but I say when the mule goes lame, who pulls the plow? You know, they just don't, it doesn't sink in that you have to take care of yourself. It's like on the airplane, when that mask comes down, you gotta put your mask on before somebody else. I mean, you're putting other people's mask on and you're gonna black out from hypoxia. So parents don't realize, well, they probably realize, but they don't, don't stress it, that they need to be the example. It's like having things in the household that shouldn't be eaten like some kids, you know, parents would tell me, well, he would be clamming up on the refrigerator. This is a young child to get to the cookies. And I say, well, why are the cookies there? You know, <laughs> oh, they for him, you know, or like my uh, sons would tell my uh, stepfather who he was a command sergeant major in the uh, army, first cavalry, hoorah. Anyway, but that really got to you, didn't it, Joe? Talk Troy. Every, every time. Ooh, right. <laughs> but uh, you, know, you see this little child, you know, looking up at this six foot guy, you know, you know, explaining things to him. And he said, what were you telling a grandpa when you were out there? And he was telling him about smoke, not smoking, you yeah. know, but, you know, I guess after that many years and <laughs> dodging three tours in Vietnam, well, it uh, he, he would have been healthier without it. Awesome, awesome. And the last question, Dr. Victor, and I know you're gonna address this and you could definitely wait until you do address it, but I just wanna put it out there. Um, that same advice you gave to the men, what would you say to those other doctors and health professionals? Um, and again, if you guys wanna start your presentation and cover that then, that's perfectly fine. Well, you can mention because it's kind of straight with physicians, as you know, physicians uh, know everything, except they don't know a lot of anything <laughs> except for, for medicine. But we learn very little about prevention. Now, I had quite a bit of uh, prevention when I was in medical school, the 30 minutes during the four years. So that, that was about it. So you learn to treat diseases in pediatrics, you're trying to prevent diseases, but so much of what we do is treating, not preventing. 
Okay. The floor is yours, guys. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And hopefully we did, some people did learn a few things they did not know, but Coach Gwen, Dr. Victor, the floor is yours. Okay, we are going to go ahead and share our screen. Okay, can everyone see our screen? Someone gives me a, a thumbs up, okay, great. Well, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started and we're going to share about a little bit about what has happened in the past and what's going on right now. And then my husband really loves sharing about the uh, research that's been done on Juice Plus. So here we go. Let me see if I can. I'm, okay. No, I want to minimize the picture so that we can Hot video. Okay. Gotta give it a minute to change. Okay. I am sorry. We are here, and I'm at the controls, and we will be with you in just a moment. I'm actually we are patient. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Basically, uh, if Henry, if you can hear me, my slides are not yep. advancing. So we're on slide one right now, 32. If you go down to the red bar, there are two arrows. Try clicking on the right arrow. I see, I see, thank you. Not working? Yes, uh, yes, there thank you very much. So as we start off, as I said, we're gonna go back and look at how things, how things tend were. So things, li healthy living used to be very simple. A lot of times we, you would find yourselves outside during the day because um, it was, it, we didn't have a lot of electronics or technology inside and the kids would go outside to play and it was fun and actually i'll tell you my mother used to lock the screen door on saturday mornings we'd get out about nine she'd lock the screen door we couldn't come back in for um for soft drinks and cokes and such as that we had uh, the water hose that's where we got our new our uh, nourishment our hydration and at the end of the day we didn't have to be uh given any type of medication to go to sleep because because we were so tired. We had just hit the sack just like that kid just did. But nowadays things are very different. You know, uh, we show, see a family here at a fast food restaurant and the kids are, are making choices about, about what they want to eat. As, as my husband said, we used to not have a choice about what we wanted to eat. It was in front of us. If we didn't do it, we went to hit bed hungry. Uh, again, today we have kids indoors a lot more than outside as these children are. And um, Coke uh, sodas were the treat. They were not something that we had in our house every day. Uh, we had the old fashioned Kool-Aid, but we couldn't even get that every day. Mostly we drank water for hydration. And then, you know what? This picture, this guy is actually going to work. He's exhausted from probably staying up too late. I remember those days when I did that. So we want to share with you about how um, some of the bad habits that we have that we can pass on to our children are not serving us. And we want to change that and show you how simple that can be. The principles for good health are really rather simple. First of all, eating real food. One lecturer once said, there's no such thing as junk food. Yes, that is correct. It's either junk or it's food. The more ingredients you have in a product, the less healthy it is. And that alone is a lecture in itself and it was brought forth to, to a kid's presentation called Nutrition Detective, but that's a lecture 
in itself. If you have ingredients that are so complex that you can't say, you probably shouldn't eat it. One of the biggest things is that you may see is peanut butter. I mean, some of these things have as many, uh, I mean, multiple ingredients in it. One of the best ones I think is when it reads, when you teach reading labels, it says peanuts and salt, and that's it. Why do you need the other stuff? So it'll last on the uh, shelf for 50 years, probably longer than you will live. Exercise is important. It doesn't have to be complex. It doesn't have to be a gym, uh, you know, a uh, place to be doing it, but exercise, some people start too complex and then they sew and don't get back. But simple things first. Drinking water is essential. How many times do people go and say, I'm thirsty, let me get a Coke. And then you drink a Coke and you're more thirsty because it's got salt in it. Of course, sleeping. Now this is a big thing as well, not only reducing stress, but also relating to obesity as well. And again, we can get into a separate lecture on that as well. But those are the main principles that you need to be looking at more specifically. So what we need, first of all, is let food be thy medicine. This is an old adage, but some people just don't seem to want to realize that. Okay. Okay, so what we have here, we're going to look at what's going on in our world today. And the what is happening is, is that we have a couple of different things that are going on that makes it very difficult for us to understand the difference between, I'm sorry, hold on, we got a little battery problem. Well, go ahead. I mean, I'm going to plug in because it's not yeah. working. So, um, what we have today that's very different from when I was growing up, we have a lot more environmental toxins. They're increasing environmental toxins again into our water. We have a lot of different products from plastics to uh, synthetics that are in uh, our water and in our, in our ground so that we can't even grow the type of foods that we usually grow with the nutritional value. Uh, and so just understanding that there are a lot of different toxins in you, it's important to read labels as my husband was saying, not only on your foods, but on your healthcare products, your, your uh, cleansing, cleaning products, your personal products. And again, food quality is decreasing. Uh, the soil doesn't have the nutrient value that it did. We have artificial colors, growth hormones, something called GMO. And if you don't know what that means, it's genetically modified organisms. Organisms are live things that are being put on our food to make the food grow faster, to make the food last longer. So our food doesn't have the nutritional content that it did maybe 20, 30 years ago. So my husband's going to share a little bit more about why it's important to get real food into your diet. If you look at the research, it clearly shows that isolated vitamins are not the answer alone. But oxidative stress is ameliorated by the antioxidants in foods, not just by a single ingredient. Now this slide shows what happens and why this is important. An apple by, by itself, if it left out, will turn brown with time and that's oxidation. The right side of this has been <clears throat> applied with usually vinegar, vitamin C, which is an antioxidant, which is the same thing that is going on in your body. In other words, your body is an engine. And what it's doing is rusting inside when you don't take care of it. So you need to use an antioxidant, something to ameliorate this. 
Now this slide is showing why the, this is important versus isolated vitamins. Vitamin C ascorbic acid is just one <coughs> simple vitamin. An apple, which has vitamin C, has thousands of ingredients in it, which makes it much stronger. The research on this at, uh, I keep forgetting, is that John Hopkins? No, Cornell. Cornell University, showing that the five milligrams in an apple is more efficacious than 2000 milligrams of vitamin C by itself because of the added uh, health from all these other ingredients. That with the products that we push as far as whole food nutrition has been researched. Now this says over 30 published studies, but it's 35 approaching 40 uh, studies done around the world. This isn't done by a, a single organization. And I've researched that and seen that many of the research things, uh, studies that are done on a product, if you delve into them deeper, it will show you, you can see the relations of that product and the research being related to one another. Being related to one another. But here is universe, uh, worldwide organizations and universities. Even the University of Florida had something good coming from it. I know that's hard to believe but University of Graz, uh, Univers uh, of Vienna, research studies around the world. And this research is independent. They don't give money like you see so much for research to the researcher and says, here's what we want. These are universities with reputations. Next slide. The center. The Efficacy of vitamins and antioxidant supplements in the prevention of cardiovascular disease has been reviewed. And that one journal shows that there is no evidence to support the uses of vitamins and antioxidant supplements for the prevention of cardiovascular disease. And there are other articles as well. This is one of the oldest ones that I have. Next slide by using whole food nutrition, we can see that this helps many different systems in the body. Cardiovascular wellness, the immune system, the gum health, and this is, a, is an important thing. How that relates to disease, not just having a good smile. We mentioned about oxidative stress as well, inflammation is health and protection of DNA. One of the studies even shows about the skin studies, how, you know, it works from the inside out, not just by painting over the skin. And this is research studies uh, that show the different, even microscopically for those who take a significant amount of fruit and vegetables in the diet. Now, one of the things under cardiovascular health is with this blend of fruit vegetables. And it shows, for instance, on the left is the placebo. On the right is after a high fat meal within 30 days. And if you look at the blue box, little to no vasoconstriction after a high fat meal. So, I mean, clearly an important point is why we have probably more heart attacks and things after Thanksgiving and Christmas. But the addition of the uh, fruit vegetable blend can greatly reduce vasoconstriction, which is is good and has less problems with cardiovascular complications. A study which here in children, 
showing the benefits of fruit and vegetables. Both the placebo group in this done at Nemours Children's Clinic in Florida shows significant reduction in insulin resistance, adiposity, and subclinical inflammation within six months. Both groups placebo had uh, dietary uh, advice as well, but those with this added supplement had very much reduction in these parameters, which we refer to as pre-diabetic parameters. So here's what we're looking at and the information that we're given. There are two facts, Hippocrates, science and opinion. Knowledge is produced from science, but the latter, ignorance. So everyone can have an opinion, you know, and there is a world is flat society. So I guess you've got opinions, but we are talking about science, not, well, I think the world is flat. So what we want to share a little bit more about is the content of Juice Plus. You know, uh, the slide that the um, video that show, that we showed earlier shared a little bit about how Juice Plus is made. It is actual food. That is the huge difference in most supplements that you can add to your diet is that Juice Plus is food powders that have been literally pulverized. But I want you to look at this picture because it shows a variety. Uh, my husband talks about the rainbow of uh, fruits and veggies that you need to have in your diet. I know growing up, um, Troy had asked me about that earlier. Most of our diet was white. I talked about the pasta. I talked about the pudding and, and the banana pudding. You know, I, those, the, that was what we grew up on. We uh, had some fruits and veggies from our garden, but we couldn't afford a lot of them from the store. And even now, the, the affordability of produce is, is astronomical. Uh, but Juice Plus gives you 45 whole foods within the complete uh, shake mix and the three, the veggie, the vineyard, and the uh, fruit blends. Okay, talking about the shakes, my husband mentioned diabetes, which is one of the things that was in our family. Uh, you've got to be careful about processed sugars because they cause high, your, your blood sugar to spike. And uh, most artificial and processed sugars, white sugars, uh, have a high glycemic index. That means that they have a they work against the insulin produced in your body. And so you want to have a low glycemic load, which stabilizes your blood sugar. And that's exactly what the complete does. It is vegan, doesn't have any of those GMOs. It's gluten and dairy free. It is completely plant-based protein and also has prebiotic and oligosaccharides to help your gut health. Now, the product that we, we love also is the Juice Plus Tower Garden. Um, the Tower Garden is a way of vertical aeroponic system, a way of growing your own fresh raw fruits and veggies without soil. Uh, this is important for us in our, in our household right now because my husband does have, uh, he does have leukemia. And when he first um, was diagnosed, they told him, the doctors told him not to eat any, any fresh raw fruits and veggies from the stores because they could have some uh, herbicides and pesticides. But by that time, at that time, we had already had a, our tower garden for two years and we were already growing fresh raw fruits, veggies um, on our tower garden without pesticides, no pesticides, no herbicides. So we know exactly what's on our food. And this is one of the best ways to know what you're putting in your system uh, is good because you grow it yourself. Again, it uses 90% less water, 90% less space. And right now, just recently, Juice Plus introduced an indoor vertical aeroponic system that you can grow fruits and veggies year round.
So why is Juice Plus unique? It is 45 whole foods. It has a food label, not a supplement label. It is phytonutrients, plant nutrients that you're getting in your body every day. Of course, it is at NSF certified. That means that there is a, a, a com, 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 company that looks at the Juice Plus product from the inside out. It goes into our manufacturing facilities and checks out the quality control to make sure that what is on the label is in the bottle and, and there's nothing in the bottle that's not on the label. And there are, that's huge because most supplements do not allow companies to come in and do that quality control uh, of their own, their products. And of course, as my husband has said now, there's over 40 published clinical studies uh, on Juice Plus. Just one moment, coming back to you. And this is one of the most important things that we uh, have seen uh, since we started sharing and eating Juice Plus. We started eating Juice Plus about in 2001. In 2006, my husband and I, uh, he started decided to share Juice Plus with his patients because they have a program where children can get Juice Plus for free. Uh, meaning that uh, if they are sponsored, if they have a parent uh, or someone else who would like to sponsor a child that's between the age of four and full-time college student, uh, undergraduate college student, they can get Juice Plus in their diet uh, for up to four years for free. And these are some of the findings. And these findings were uh, important to us because we started sharing it in, our, in my husband's practice. And these findings, we found that these were true and even better uh, than some, in some instances where there were 56% more uh, kids were taking less over-the-counter drugs. There were 66% that were seeing the doctors less uh, and 71% were consuming less fast food and less soft drinks and drinking more water. So these um, statistics are really, really huge. When you think about uh, them kids seeing the doctor less, that means that the parents are, are having to stay off work less it, it just is amazing how each one of these parameters uh, is so impactful to a family. So uh, we would like for you to join us. We love uh, sharing about health and wellness. We would love for you to look further into these uh, products and even look into partnering with us as we uh, are part of this incredible community that helps people to understand that there's so much they can do to take control of their own health. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now and give it back to you, Troy. Wow. I mean, just, just phenomenal. So much vital information that you both shared that's not only gonna help the women, it's going to help our men. It's going to help the physicians out there. As you said, Dr. Victor, you're not trained in nutrition. So there's so many physicians out there that are treating our communities and our young people that they're not maximizing what they could possibly do. Um, I make a point when I go to the local store, I, I go to two places. That's the produce section, and that's the pharmacy. And I want to see, number one, how many people are in that pharmacy? And it's, it's too many every time I go there. And I will stop and have a couple conversations with people and just, just have that, you know, that conversation. Um, some people don't want to hear it. Some people take the card or whatever. But again, we... we we do our part in this inspiring healthy living commission and that's the big part is the five letter word that we share this information and the most selfish thing we could do is to not share it because you never know who's going to really need to receive that message it might not be for them it could be for a loved one it could be for a friend it could be for a neighbor and we know as being in this community, we've all heard so many powerful testimonies of what whole food plant nutrition can do for our body. And as the coach Gwen and 
the temple doctor, our body is our temple. That's right, you heard it, Dr. Victor. The temple doctor, this is some vital information. And as Coach Gwen said, we, we need boots on the ground. We need people to lock arms with us. Now, we're not making any claims that this is going to be the, the cure-all, but science tells you, as Dr. Victor said, they said over 40 medical journals of science behind the product. Don't take our word for it. Of course, do your due diligence, as we all did before we locked arms and joined this community. Each one of us did our own research, and it was overwhelmingly the wow effect that this organization that really is unheard of in the world, unless someone like Dr. Victor or Coach Gwen or Gay Russell in Chicago, Dr. Sandra Shavers, Najee Yassin, Troy Richardson, so many others, so many others, it's unheard of unless you heard it from us. 5% of the population is what we've reached. 5% of people around the world that have to get this message. And if you're like me, and, and most of us have lost a loved one to chronic illness, lost my brother, lost my mother to cancer four months apart, 12 years ago. And if I only had this around then, if I only had this around then to at least share it and give them a fighting chance, I would have run it to them. I would have walked to New York and made sure they got it. So we have an opportunity to do something. We cannot depend on prescription drugs. The doctor will tell you drugs are going to treat the symptoms. They're not gonna prevent it from reoccurring and coming back. And you're gonna to have to get the prescription refilled and you know all that stuff that we know that goes on. But if you truly want a fighting chance, naturally and holistically, turn to government. That's what it's there for. That's what it was created for, to put in our temples so that we could have our bodies replenish and recover on its own because our bodies know what to do with that natural nourishment. When we introduce mm -hmm. the foreign drugs into our body, that's when our body's like going crazy. What's this? I don't recognize this. And your body's mm -hmm. receptors are talking to one another. What's going on with you? What's going on with you? Now I know I'm not a doctor, but I've been around enough doctors to talk like a doctor. So guys, this information again is critical. If you care about your family, your friends, your neighbors, your schools, your churches, whatever organizations you're a part of, and you're tired of hearing about people passing away and, 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 and getting sick and, and just you know drugs after drugs. I deal with the veterans, so the narcotics, the opioids, all those drugs out there, it's been going on for centuries. Guess what? It's not working. As Dr. Jan Roberto says, no, it's back not. in 2005 to now, it's actually gotten worse. So we're not improving. So what has to change? Our mindset must change, okay? So guys, people, thank you again for taking time out of your Saturday to spend some time with us. I really hope and pray that something resonated with you that you can leave and, 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 and improve your life or improved someone's life that you know, but get back to the person who invited you here and ask them any questions you may have. And we're gonna open it up for a few minutes. And if you have any questions for the doctor or coach Gwen or, or just about anything, let us know and we will definitely get back to you. But God bless you all, and thank you so much. And Henry, I think we can, um, and thank you, Henry Lee, the man behind the scenes. And oh, oh, let me also make this announcement. November 21st, Henry Lee is going to be the featured guest on the Health Exchange, okay? So you definitely want to tune in for that. It's going to be another spectacular event. But again, thank you, everyone, for taking time out of your Saturday. Stay healthy love one another, and let's make this place healthy. Thank you so much.